Hey everybody, welcome to Panoy Crossover, the basketball show for the Filipino community. My name is PJ. Joining me is Marky Mark with the scarf, as always, sporting a shirt that my mom gave him as a present. Oh, you mom, thank you. Shout out to my mama. Where's nice my present? It. Just saying. And then it's we got Ray. We got Ray in the building. What's up? That's what's up. Glad to be here. I'm hopped up on coffee, yo. So. <laughs> Jittery with the coffee up in the FTV studio. All right, Marky Mark, what are we going to do for this first segment? Let's do something really nice because I know Christmas just happened recently and we got the new year coming out. So we got this kind of twist into that kind of game. We call it the Christmas and the New Year thing where we have a Christmas. So what's one thing that you're thankful for in the NBA that happened so far in the season? And for New Year, what do you want to see more coming in the 2018 for the rest of the season? So let's start with you, PD. What do you want to see? All what's right. your Christmas? What's, what's something that you've, been, you know, that you've enjoyed so far that happened? What are you thankful for? All right. It's the, you know, December is here. It's the, the, the season of giving. What I'm thankful for is how Ben Simmons gave us a show. He was entertaining. He can play flashes of magic here and there. I'm grateful that he, this is his rookie season. He's going to be the rookie of the year. 100%. I feel so. And the thing that I wish for the new year is that in 2018, the Raps will beat the Cavs. Ooh, we'll dethrone that that's king. A, True. That's a big 2018, 2018. New Year's wish. What about you? What you got? So what's your, what are you thankful for? For me, what are you looking for to be to? honest, with all the trades that's been happening, to strengthen all these other teams just to take out OKC, I mean, mm -hmm. um, the Warriors. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm really excited about that. And I've been watching all these new teams, you know, as they come up. Yeah. So that just kind of got me excited into watching basketball in that aspect. What I'm looking forward to is just to see the Raptors hit the finals. Oh, <laughs> same That's wishes. Right, right, right. Same yeah. wishes. Okay, I'm Don't you take, dare break I'm us gonna, down. I'm going to do a different take. What I'm taking for really this season was um, just the, uh, a, lot of the new, a lot of the new players acquired in the, new, uh, in the trades just to help cope in nicely in their team. Like mm -hmm. Jimmy Butler, has, you have seen him play. He's been playing so well. He has meshed with the Minnesota. He's helped them so far. Uh, Melo and PG. I know it's been a rough ride, but if you guys look at the standing, they're in the top five in the in the West right now, and that's them struggling in the beginning. Mm. Think of what's gonna happen later on because now they're on a you know six seven game winning streak, and that's you know people were surprised them to see that you know people were saying they should give up on them, but they're playing well, right? Kyrie Irving putting in nicely with his new team. That's so nice to mm. see, right? That's something I was thinking for this Christmas, and what I want to see more coming into the 2018 is uh, all these players have been injured. Like, there's so many players injured this whole <laughs> oh, season. That's so yeah. true. Rudy Gobert, Paul Millsap, Chris Paul, like, you know, Gordon Hayward, um, even Steph Curry has been injured. So many players this season. The white side's just coming back, too. All these, you know, I just want to see them play this whole 2018. You just want to see them rise from the hospitals. Exactly. Hospital beds. And they have the same without, you know, the players, the, the main star players that, the, that these teams have acquired mm. or they've developed. So. Mm, that's mm -hmm. true. Hey, guess what? Isn't this our last episode of 2017? Yes. Isn't this almost like the Christmas episode? Oh, I dropped the bell. <laughs> you All right. No more. <laughs> so Christmas episode. I think I just want to ask a question. Who's been naughty and nice? Ooh. Who's been naughty and nice so who's far been, in 2017? Been who's been naughty this NBA season? I got one. I got one. You got okay, one? Go I, go. I, I'm a big Warriors fan. I've yeah. watched a lot of their game. My big naughty guy has been uh, Kevin Durant. I just wanted to stop complaining at the refs. I just wanted to stop arguing and trying to act you know tough i just wanted to play his game because he's leading the league in ejection and technical foul that should be the marcus cousins role mm -hmm. yeah, why are you yeah. taking on that i just wanted to play play his game and just focus on playing basketball mm -hmm. and try, try you know to focus and focus less on the little gritty stuff like arguing with the ref or arguing with with players he doesn't want to be a cupcake like you said yeah. he was called cupcake but i think he's a tough cake now <laughs> he's a tough cake what i who i think is naughty um Damn, I don't. Everyone, everyone's been okay. There's nothing. We can talk about a team. Who's been a naughty team? Who's, you do you think naughty team? A team that's been like you Memphis know. fired their f coach. That's an organization. We gotta throw coals at them. They gotta open the president. They've had coals. history. Like they're yeah. the coaches that have had winning records. Like um, uh, not just Fizdale, which is a fire. Which Dave Yeager had a you know winning record last year before he was fired. And um, there's a. Uh, it's just been. It's just been awful. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and the organization's been you know in a transition as well. They're on the end of the era of what they, the grit and grind era, so it was hard for them really to understand what was going on. Even the players want to understand why, mm -hmm. right? So it, it's fair. Memphis is naughty. Should, uh, mm -hmm. they should do Ray, naughty. anyone naughty comes to um, your mind? 
Has LeVar been naughty? <laughs> yeah, I was about to say that, but I'm just like, you know what, the, what, the games I've been watching, they're all pretty good. Yeah. You know, aside from the injuries. Yeah. So I'm just like, well, what's really kind of annoying me? And I'm like, LeVar. <laughs> That's I mean, true. Like, you know, your, your boy's already in the, in the league. Yeah. Let him do his thing. Yeah. Just stop talking and let him work at it. That's, that's it. <laughs> he, he, I think he's done enough talk to get yeah. his, his son into the NBA mm. to be the second pick yeah. to play for Los Angeles mm. and to have, you know, to play st starter minutes yeah. as mm. a rookie. I think he's done that and I think it, it makes sense to have just let him, let him play his game, let him prove himself. How about nice list? Let's go. Who's been nice this season? Who's been a nice... Who's been, like, who's been a nice player that you feel like, oh... Giannis. This yeah. is like a present. Giannis, Giannis has been a god. Oh, He's nice. Hey. Gods are nice. <laughs> like, I want to give love to LeBron. I want to give yeah. him presents. I'm not. I, I'm not a big crazy LeBron fan. Yeah. But he's playing the best statistical in terms of you know his whole career. Fifteen. His 15th season. He's playing the best he's ever been. Mm. He said he's in his best shape. He's averaging almost triple double. Fifty six percent. Fifty seven percent from the field and for over forty percent from the from the three point line. That's just. Nobody knew he, was, he, he could shoot. Everybody was trying to back off of him before because yeah. he, he couldn't shoot. Yeah, he can hit threes. And now he's just hitting threes like it's nothing. And he's averaging almost a triple-double. And I think it's, it's time to give him some love and some presents. Mm -hmm. That's my present for him.